I find Adventure Time fascinating because it's a series that had no idea what it was trying to do, and then over the course of the series, we can see it slowly understanding what it wants to do. That means there's a couple of episodes that I could talk about for hours, and there are also a couple of episodes that I can't even spend a single sentence on. Like, some of the early episodes are bonk. They're like, omega bonk. That means they also don't really know how we're gonna handle this format. I think the more interesting things will get their own dedicated video, and everything else will be lumped into this season overview retrospective. Good? Good. But what interests me is that even though so much of this feels like it's improvised, there's still so many things from back then in season one that we then reuse in later seasons. And all of the stuff that got scrapped feels like it's tossed under the rug, sometimes to the point where you feel like some characters weren't scrapped, they're just not around right now. That being said, I've never watched all of it. I've gotten like a third of the way through the series, and that's why we're here. I wanted to actually watch and finish the entire story, and hey, you might as well come along with me. You know what time it is, buddy? Adventure time! Yeah, man! Now, because a lot of season one is rough around the edges, I'm going to spend a lot of this retrospective talking about the episodes as an overview. Let's talk about what I like to call the party format. This was the format in the first episode of Adventure Time and a couple of episodes afterwards, where the main crew is having a party and then there's usually some kind of conflict that we have to resolve by the end of the episode so that everyone can go back to partying. On the one hand, this feels very by the numbers, and on the other hand, it feels like we're trying to establish a formula that we can repeat over and over again, and I think this format actually worked for a lot of early Adventure Time. For contrast, in episode 2, Trouble in Lumpy Space, we get to see a lot more of the downsides to this format. We start off with Finn and Jake having a party before Jake gets bit, which causes him to transform into a lumpy creature, which is something that I don't think we ever bring back again. The rest of the episode is dedicated to trying to find a solution to Jake's problem all within these 10 minutes. And so you can feel that the writers are kind of running out of screen time, we're tossing in a problem and then we immediately have to solve it and we don't get any breathing room. Not only that, but we're also introducing some side characters in an entirely different dimension. And once we find a solution, we have about 30 seconds to end the episode, which is seemingly why we always end in a party. It is a solution to a time constraint. I think we more or less fixed that with the adventure time format. It usually starts off with the characters doing something completely unrelated to the story, only to then dive in to the actual heart of the episode. In that sense, it feels like every time we are starting the episode, we're instead just cutting to the most interesting part of their lives. <laughs> My inflatable angel. You can feel the growth in that aspect. Like if you compare it to the early episodes where we're just dancing all the time and having a party at the start of the episode. Instead, in season one, episode 23, Rainy Day Daydream, Finn has an entire list of things that they're about to do before they get interrupted by today's episode. The entire premise behind this format is that something unrelated is happening. Dude, how long are we gonna follow this frog? Then we get the main event for the episode. It looks cool in there. Ergo, Woo! it is now adventure time. From the start of the season to the end of the season, we have gone from caricatures to interesting people in interesting situations that we're following around for these 10 minutes. The first season of Adventure Time feels like it comes from very humble beginnings. We get introduced to almost all of the main characters, but all of them feel slightly caricaturized. Farewell, Finn! Oh, wait a minute. Like, I don't remember Princess Bubblegum being this, um, ironically, bubbly. She gets better over the course of the season, though. I learned that you are a very intelligent princess? You're darn right I am. Yeah, all right! <laughs> that goes for a lot of the other characters. It feels like the characters are kind of acting in accordance with the plot a lot of the times. And the fact that this is season one, so from a writing perspective, these characters are barely being developed, and in the future will have very different, refined personalities. Except for Marceline. She is already great. We've got plenty more evil to do! <laughs> One of the things that I love from early Adventure Time is just how many things we throw to the wall, even if we do end up scrapping a lot of those. For example, we almost never talk about what is happening visually, but there is so much that is happening in terms of world building. 
There are always dungeons to explore and weird magical systems that we don't explain. There are old heroes and books and different landscapes and we just consider it a normal part of the world. In fact, the strongest part about Adventure Time might be its ability to gaslight you into thinking that all of these things are normal and you're the weird one for thinking it's so out there. While I think we scrap this later on, some of my favorite jokes came from the magic system in this world. Like a lot of the spells are just regular words fancied up to make them feel magical. It's not magic is no more, it's magic is no more -icus. If you want to teleport someone away, you don't just say, go back from where you came, you say, go back a kiss from where you came a kiss. In season one, episode 11, Wizard, I feel like we scrap an entire magic system where people get magical abilities by doing some arbitrary task, like eating a broom. Why would eating an entire broom give you magic? Don't question it, it's magic. Now go do these other weird things. It is so dumb and simple and yet really charming. With that said, here are the episodes that I think you can skip. Here are the episodes that introduce a character for the first time. And then here are the episodes that I think are actually fun and interesting and I'll probably make a dedicated video on. As for the rest of these, eh, they'll get their own dedicated short. Anyways, thanks to my patrons who are having a party and now have to resolve this terrible crisis within 10 minutes. There are bad things happening, like uh, babies being flung all over the place and fire. So much fire. Oh no, what will we do about the fire? You have 10 minutes. Go! Bye-bye. Mathematical! Finn, you're terrible at math.